Berlin's army school is the end of the road for the Nazi reign of terror. Here, Air Marshal Tedder, General Eisenhower's deputy, and Russia's Marshal Zhukov meet with Field Marshal Keitel, a haughty Prussian aristocrat and representative of the general staff. This time, it's the German army that surrenders. No civilians are involved as in World War I. This time, the Wehrmacht takes its full share of blame for years of ruin and brutality. Keitel signs, marking the end of all German military action. Tedder and Zhukov add their signatures to the document that surrenders Germany to Allied control and completes Nazi humiliation. Following the ratification, the Allied officers tour the gutted Nazi capital. Berlin's once proud architecture is only a memory. Years of heavy pounding by the RAF and American air forces have made Germany's first city almost unlivable. Thousands of tons of bombs have pockmarked the famous Brandenburg Gate and laid waste the Hotel Adlon, former meeting place of world travelers. All Nazi government buildings have been destroyed, burying the infamous Hitler and Goebbels in their rubble. Berlin's history, as one of the world's great capitals, is ended. Not only her capital, but most of Germany's mighty industrial cities are wiped out. These first pictures of Hamburg, made by the RAF, reveal the indescribable destruction wrought by repeated air attacks on the Reich's second city. Once the largest seaport on the continent of Europe, Hamburg's docks along the River Elba serve the shipping of the world. Now, Hamburg is a ghost city, only the outer walls of its thousands of buildings standing in mute testimony to the overwhelming power of a light bombing. Bombing that tore the heart out of the Reich and buried tyranny in its ashes. Thank you.